YouTube peeps and barbecue freaks. How's it going today? Today, we're gonna smoke a pork butt. I'm kinda in the mood for some money muscle medallions. I'm gonna trim this money muscle back to get bark all the way around it, the rest of it, I'm basically, basically gonna leave alone. We're gonna smoke this on the Weber kettle using the slow and sear. Uh, this should be good. I have no idea what rub I'm gonna use yet. I'm gonna go through my pantry, find some rubs. Heck, I may even just throw a whole bunch of different rubs together and see what I come up with. Anyway, I got about a nine and a half pound pork butt. We're gonna get it trimmed up, seasoned up on the Weber. Let's get started. All right, so I have the pork butt here. Like I said, it's nine and a half pounds. Um, on this side here is where the money mostly is. Uh, there is some trimming that I'm gonna do on this side, only because if you ever cooked a pork butt, you know there's all this fat right here that, uh, like all these veins and stuff, it's not gonna render out or anything. And I don't want that in my meat when I go and shred it. It's no good, it's a, it's a stringy fat. In fact, I'm gonna turn it this way. It's just a stringy fat. And uh, you wanna make sure you get rid of that. Just gonna sacrifice a piece here. And just come in, and I'll, I'll give you a closer look at this here in just a second. But if you've done a pork butt, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right there, I don't know if you guys can we can make this out this fat here it's just really ugly nasty fat that won't melt out or anything it's, it's no good so I like to at least do that there to uh, remove that all right so I have no clue what I'm gonna go with got some of my brother Rich's stuff which is really good it's all purpose Rich's Rivers uh, River Dirt. The All Purpose is my favorite. That's good. That's an option. I might go with some of that. We'll just put that over here to the side. Um, I've got all kinds of suckle busters, head country. Uh, of course, the heaven made product stuff. Oh, tons, tons of that stuff. Simply Marvelous some good stuff simmer on docks that's really good I like that sweet money championship rub you know what that might be an option let's see what we got down here got some plowboys <clears throat> those benejos ooh sexy chicken JP got some of Harry Sue's rubs here you know what, I think, um, I have to find out which one is for pork, but I know JP's got, I think it's got a beef, pork, and chicken, or maybe it's an all-purpose, I'll have to find it. Here it is, that's, uh, some sweet heat. I don't know, I might give that a taste. Okay, that's his all-purpose. Got some John Henry's, I don't know, I'm gonna see what I got down here. I may run with that simmer on docks. I love that stuff. Texas Chrome. Of course, you can never go wrong with it. It's incredible. I don't know. I really don't. I'm going to just rumble through here. A bunch of um, meat church rubs back here. I'm going to find something, and uh, I'll let you know once I figure it out. All right, so I decided to go with three rugs. The first one I'm going to use is this pork pachanga, and that's because it has uh, a little bit of heat in there. I'm going to add that first. I'm going to come back with this. Uh, two brothers. I really really like this rub here and then I'm gonna top it with some uh, Texas select barbecue chicken rub so um, I use these rubs often. I like them. I'm just gonna run with this uh, For a binder you don't have to use a binder. You can use whatever you want as a binder. I just happen to have a lot of uh, Honey mustard Left over. I mean, every time I go to the store, I, I, I can never remember if I have any, so I end up buying some and uh, end up with tons of that stuff. So uh, I've got a lot to use that I can use up. So I mean, I'm not using it for any particular reason other than I need to use some of it up. So again, use oil, don't use a binder. That's up to you. I don't normally use honey mustard, but. We're doing things a little different today, just because. So get that on here. <clears throat> I'm gonna come back with this pork pachanga. 
Again, this rub can be spicy, so be careful how much you put on. It's got a little heat to it. I want that heat to kind of sneak up on you after you bite it some, so that's why I'm making it the first layer. Come back with the second layer. There's two brothers. This one has a lot of like herbs in it. It's just really, really good. Nope, don't want to season that just yet. <clears throat> and then come back with this Texas Select. I'm going to repeat the process on the meat side. Actually, I still got to do the fat cat side. I like to do the sides first. It just makes doing the rest of it easier later. So we'll get this fat cat side hit up. And then I'm going to flip it over, do the meat side. We're going to let it rest for a bit while the Weber kettle fires up. So I will pick back up once we get to that point. Once it's time to get it on the Weber kettle. There you guys, this pork butt has sweated in. As you can tell, it's looking good. The Weber's ready to go. We're going to take it outside and get it on the Weber kettle. There you guys, I got the pork butt on. I've got some pecan uh, wood for the smoke. I got the bottom vents completely wide open. And I'm going to have the top vent completely wide open, and that's how I'm going to run it. It's a really windless day. There's no wind out here at all. So I'm going to run them wide open for now, and we'll see if I need to adjust them later. Are you guys, this pork butt has been going for almost, almost about three hours. I have been spritzing it, and I'm just using a 50-50 mix of apple juice and apple cider vinegar. So I've been out a few times to spritz it. This is what it's looking like now. Just gonna continue to spritz it for a while. You see it's still have plenty of charcoal in the uh, Sloan's here. I'm not sure what the temp is that this is running at, but at about three hours, the color that it's getting is probably sitting at about 285 is my guess. So we're going to continue to let it run. Once that bark sets, we'll wrap it up and uh, get in some brown sugar, butter, all that goodness. But this is what it's looking like for now. Again, we're just shy of about three hours and this is what it's looking like. Are you guys this this uh, pork butt has been going at just a little under four hours the bark is set I'm liking the color so we're gonna wrap it I'm gonna spritz a little bit again this is a 50 50 mix of uh, apple juice and apple cider vinegar to that I am going to take some brown sugar and add that to the mix. I'm gonna add that on top. Get that in here. I like the sweetness that this is going to add, that all of this is going to add to it. So to that, I'm going to add some parquet butter. Let's get that right over the pork butt. Especially right over the money muscle. This is on this back side here. 
I'm going to add some honey. Again, it's going <clears> to <throat> make this pork butt sweet. It's going to add tons of flavor to this pork butt. Add that honey. And then one of my secret ingredients that I normally add is going to be some tiger sauce. That's right, tiger sauce. I'm just going to take this and add it right over the pork butt. And that is it for now. I, I am going to add some barbecue sauce, but I think I'm going to wait uh, until after it's kind of cooked down all the way. So this is what it looks like now. I'm going to take this. I'm going to wrap some foil around it and then get it back on the Weber kettle. And I'm going to let it go for at least another hour before we check on it. And I will pick back up in about an hour and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, this pork butt has been wrapped for about an hour and a half. As you can see, all this liquid in here, that's all that uh, butter, brown sugar, honey mixture, along with all the, the rest of the fat that has rendered out from this pork butt. So this thing is really tender. I did temp it with my thermopin, and it's actually pretty much done. So what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm probably going to take it out of this pan, put it in a different pan. I'm going to sauce it up with this sauce here. And this sauce is actually uh, Brother Joe from Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. When he was in town, he gave me some of his sauce that he makes. And this is really, really good. It's sweet with a little bit of heat. I'm really digging it. So I'm going to put this on this pork butt put it back in the pit and just kind of let that sauce set for, you know, about 15, 20 minutes. So at this point, I think I'm going to switch it from this pan to a different pan. And I am going to save this juice in here because once we pull it, I'll be able to take that juice, pour it over the pulled pork um, after I pulled it, just to kind of keep it moist and add some more uh, flavor to that. So let me get this out of this pan. I'm going to get it in a different pan. We'll get it sauced up and back on the pit. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take this sauce. Again, this is a sauce that I got from my uh, brother Joe over at Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. This is a sauce that he's made. Or, uh, this is a sauce that he makes, so I have no clue what's in here. I just know it's good. So I'm gonna put this right over the top here. Spread that out right over the money muscle, right over the top here, and then cover this pork butt. This uh, bone here, I could probably pull out this bone now, but I'm just going to leave it in here for now. So that's the pork butt sauced up. I'm going to put it back on. I'm going to let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we'll pull it off and give it a taste. All right, you guys, this pork butt is done. This is what it looks like. I sauced it, put it back on the Weber, let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes. And this is what it looks like. So I'm not going to show um, me pulling the whole pork butt apart. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take this money muscle, which is the part that I wanted to, to eat. So I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to slice it in medallions and show you what that looks like. And then the rest of this, I'm probably going to just leave whole for right now and then shred it a little bit later. But uh, if I do that, you know, that, that pulled pork is just stuff that I'm going to save. So there's really no need to, to film that part. But I want to show you what this money muscle right here looks like after I cut it up. So let me get this cut off. I'm going to slice it up and show you what it looks like. But so far, and then the cook, once the salt has set, once the salt, the sauce has set, this is what it looks like. So let me get this money muscle cut up. 
All right, you guys, so right here I have the uh, money muscle. You can see there's bark all the way around it, which is what I was aiming for. I'm just gonna cut pieces of this off. That's really tender. And I just want to eat, you know, and I'm, I'm not going to put this in a bun or anything. I, I just really want to eat this uh, money muscle just by itself, just the way it looks. So, ooh, it's hot. It's still very hot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a little tender. So, I'm actually, here's a, I'm just going to take this piece here real quick. One second. We're going to take a piece of this money muscle, and this money muscle is actually a little overcooked, but that's quite all right. You can see here, you see a little smoke ring, it's got some nice flavor to it, or some nice bark to it. So we're going to give it a taste and see what it tastes like. It's actually, you know, falling apart a little more uh, than I wanted to, but then again, I actually cooked this. A little more over than I would normally cook it so uh, I didn't cook this for competition or anything like that I just really wanted to make it really tender so I can eat it you know at the house so this is a lot more overcooked than I would like for a comp but again I wasn't aiming for a comp I, I wanted to make this just really tender piece of meat that I could cook at the house so we're gonna give it a taste. That's not good. I gotta take another bite. Another part of the money muscle. It's just so soft. It just melts in your mouth. Good gosh, that's good. The sweetness from the sauce, I think, works really well with the, the rubs that I use. That's good. In fact, I'm going to take another. It's just so good. <laughs> I'm going to take another piece here. Another piece of that money muscle. Mmm. It's so good. I love the money muscle from a pulled pork. From a pork butt. It's just so good. Again, the rest of it, I'm going to take it, I'm going to shred it apart, and I'm going to vacuum seal it, put it away, save it for a, for a later date. That's good. I think Joe's rub, I'm sorry, Joe's sauce worked perfect with those rubs. That's some damn good stuff. Anyway... I hope you find uh, or I hope you guys found this enjoyable. I will see you guys next time. Take care.